Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Rosenberg, and today's topic is how to de-stress at your desk. Um, I treat a lot of people with problems from sitting at a desk all day long, and I know if I sat at a desk all day long, I'd have the same problem. So I'm going to teach you some things, uh, maybe Dr. Mark's greatest hits from some of my other videos that I will incorporate here, a very short little time on how to de-stress while you're at work at your desk, assuming you sit at a desk at work. Okay, first of all, stress starts in our hands. Okay, if anything stresses us out, we're wired from millions of years ago to tighten our hands um, to deal with the stress, usually by um, doing something not nice, okay? So that being the case, and our fingers tend to tighten into fists to do damage, we have to undo some of that damage. So first we could start by stretching this way and then separating. And you'll feel a lot of stretch in here because if your hand from both the keyboard and the mouse and emotional stress is going like this, anything you do to open them up is going to feel better and it's going to have a lasting effect. Now keep in mind, if there's stress in your hands, it's going to go up to your arms, it's going to go up to your elbows, it's going to go up to your neck. By the time it's up to your neck, okay, it's manifesting as <clears throat> negativity in your mind. But it could also start the other way around. It could start from your mind and go to your hands. You know, you're, you're upset about something and then you tighten up. It doesn't matter. We're going to just step away and work on the body first. So first you're going to stretch this way and then stretch this way. Now when you stretch this way, I have pretty good stretch, stretch this way. The muscles that you stretch under here can help with carpal tunnel or prevent carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, there are eight little bones in the wrist here and there's a ligament that goes over the top of it. It's called the flexor retinaculum. Underneath that is the median nerve, okay, the radial nerve and the ulnar nerve. When these bones get misaligned or get swollen in here, the hands can get cold, they can go numb, you could lose strength, carpal tunnel syndrome, all right? So you're doing a lot when you stretch this way, okay? So yeah, everybody can see it. And you hold it. If that's not enough stretch for you, drop your hands down. Okay, I'll back up a little bit. You drop your hands down a little bit so you get more stretch. If one hand is further out, it might need more work. You might find that your elbows are down like this and it hurts. If one can go up and the other one can't, keep working on it. Okay, then separate those and stretch the fingers. And these will feel like little hamstrings, like on the backs of your legs, that you're stretching out. All right, and you could spend anywhere from a minute to 45 seconds just doing those two stretches. Next, we're going to pull and open the fingers. Okay, so do it in this order. Middle, ring, index, pinky, thumb. Let's do it again. Middle, ring, index, pinky, thumb. That's the way the energy flows in Chinese medicine. It takes a lot of relaxation, okay? Uh, it helps with a lot of relaxation is a, be a better way for me to put it. Um, when you open the hand that way, it also gives an even pull to all the tendons, muscles, and ligaments. Uh, if you hear popping, that's when, when you open up a joint and you hear popping, there's no bones cracking. It's just uh, nitrogen gas popping from the adjacent tissues. Uh, if you get it, fine. If you don't get it, that's fine too. So again, middle, ring, index, pinky, thumb. Okay, and then you can go back and do this. Next, make two fists and circle them. Okay, one way and circle them the other way. And that will help a lot. Okay, next, shake the hands. Okay, get all the kinks out of the hands. Okay, next, let's work on the arms a little bit. Uh, you actually grab hold of the forearm here and massage it a little bit. Okay, and let the hand flop. I'm doing it high so you can see in front of the camera, but you could do it low. It might be funny at your desk if you start doing this. Everybody's going to wonder what you're up to. But you could do it low and then do the other side. Okay, and uh, I'm grabbing the back of the arm here. This is a common place where people get tennis elbow. They call it tennis elbow. You don't have to play tennis to get it. Uh, technically, it's called radiohumeral epicondylitis. Huh? What do you say? Okay, basically, it's a tendon that gets irritated here. Okay, so just rub it out. Okay, next, roll your shoulders. Big circle. Big circle, you're crunching back there. That's tension in the muscles behind the scapula. Why are they tight? Well, when we get stressed out, we tighten up to prevent animals or our bosses from grabbing us on the back of the neck. Just kidding about the boss. Hey, maybe not. You roll this back this way, roll them back. And then after three or four, five, eight times, bring this shoulders up and drop them. Bring them up and drop them. That's you telling your muscles to tighten and you telling your muscles to let go. So you're retraining your body. Next, and you can't see my legs in this video, cross one over and stretch your spine. Now you're not going to crack your spine, you're not trying to move anything, you're just trying to stretch in a rotational fashion. One way, 
hold for 45 seconds, and then switch legs. Bring your left leg, left, left leg over, say that 10 times fast, and stretch this way. Okay, we're not going for any great uh, flexibility training there, just a little bit of rotational stress, uh, stretch, uh, which will help to take out the stress in your low back. Okay, all those exercises maybe take you a minute or two. You could do them once or twice a day. Um, and while you're sitting at your desk, you will feel a lot less stress. Hmm. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to answer them, uh, ask them. I will answer them. And um, have a great day. And I'm feeling pretty unstressed. I hope you are too. Bye-bye.